sustainable society. First of all, the vast majority of people will have actually woken up to the precarious situation we're in and be determined to make their personal changes and vote in leaders who are prepared to set society on a sustainable path. We will have transitioned largely off fossil fuels. If we're making the changes that science demands, we'll have reduced methane and carbon emissions 80% by 2020 by quickly ramping up energy efficiency, conservation, and renewable energy from the current, we're at about 15% renewable energy right now. So that's 85% fossil fuels. A lot of people are kind of shocked <laughs> to know that, but that's where we're at both in Colorado approximately and in the U.S. We'll be focused on localization. Growing more food and producing more products locally, generating a large percentage of our power from clean local sources like rooftop solar and micro wind, and supporting local businesses. Food relocalization is especially important, I believe, for food security. Right now, only 2% of our food is grown locally. I was shocked to learn that. Only 2% in Boulder. <laughs> Uh, with a, in a place that where I, I thought, you know, so many people well, were into the farmers market. I guess people don't. Yeah. yeah. So I'd love to see, personally, if I could just wave my wand, uh, I'd love to see at least 25% of our food grown locally by 2020. And I'd also like to see a reduction in food waste from right now 30% of food goes, ends up in the landfill. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd love to see that reduced to zero, ideally. Helping to eradicate hunger through programs like Boulder Food Rescue. Mm -hmm. Y'all probably heard of that program. And building local soils with composting could be accomplished if we got rid of that waste. From my perspective, we have a lot of opportunities in this area around Boulder. For example, I'm on the steering committee for the City of Boulder's Local Food Working Group. And I've started a um, edible landscapes uh, committee. So we're working on transitioning yards to edible gardens and working on food forests and parks. Mm -hmm. And, um, and also uh, edible schoolyards. And for an, another example, on my children's campus, I've been raising funds for about five years to build a 33-foot diameter geodesic dome greenhouse. We finally raised enough funds this year, and we just, at the beginning of March, got it built in four days with a, uh, about 30 people. We built it. We've been building the beds now. We started planting, and I'm doing an after-school class once a week teaching gardening to the kids. And, we have growing gardens, the um, education folks at the community gardens teaching classes to all of our kids in the greenhouse. So uh, I think there's so many opportunities there for food relocalization. We also need to greatly increase our supply of local clean energy. This is going to be really important for energy security, cost stability, and environmental reasons as our electric supply is still currently about 85% fossil fuel. Coal costs are increasing at 10% a year right now, and natural gas is in a short-lived, cheap, boom period with fracking propped up by Wall Street. So I personally hope to see Boulder having created a municipal electric utility based on 80% renewable energy by 2020 and working hard to phase out fossil fuel usage through storage technologies like plug-in electric vehicles, for example, is something that's being investigated as a storage backup for renewables. Lastly, and I know this is going to sound idealistic, but I think it's absolutely essential if we're going to be sustainable, we really have to sh have a massive shift in the way that society thinks and acts. Mm -hmm. Society is going to have to begin to shift from a consumption-based mentality of more is bigger and, you know, more and bigger is better and stuff will make me happy to a quality of life-based menta mentality with philosophies like less is more and simple is better and a penny saved is a penny earned and live simply so others may simply live. <laughs> We'll be spending more time with our families in my ideal world, um, mm -hmm. neighbors and friends taking part in activities that build a stronger sense of community, a stronger mm -hmm. connection to the land and to nature, and a more sustainable society. So think community gardens, farmers markets, canning parties, barn raising community events like our school greenhouse project, school skill share, volunteer networks, biking and walking more places together, and setting the example for our kids and, and, um, and others by volunteering for causes, that just being the norm. And we'll be more focused on switching from stock market investments to making monetary and time investments that save us money and reduce environmental impacts like insulation for our homes, super high efficiency appliances, solar panels, plug-in electric vehicles, building greenhouses and gardens, learning more traditional skills, hanging clothes on the line, <laughs> mending and reusing more, and disposing less. So that's just my little, a few things in my little Probably. vision. <laughs>